On the surface, pCloud and iStrive look almost identical. Two privacy-focused cloud service providers with lifetime plans. But one of them has a small limitation that could cost you way more in the long run, while the other gives you features that most big-name cloud providers don't even come close to. In this video, we're putting these two head-to-head. -head. We'll compare their features, security, pricing, and ease of use, and by the end, you'll know exactly which one is the smarter choice for you. And yes, we'll reveal the one crucial difference that might completely change your decision later in the video. By the way, if you'd like to check out either service for yourself, I've included links below that you can use to get up to 50% discount. pCloud is the veteran here. Founded in 2013 in Switzerland, it was one of the first services to popularize lifetime cloud plans. It was meant to be a comprehensive, easy-to-use cloud storage solution, and it now serves 20 to 25 million users worldwide. IceDrive is the newcomer, a UK-based startup that launched around 2019. But despite its youth, IceDrive immediately differentiated itself with built-in zero-knowledge encryption and a slick, modern interface. Let's start our comparison with security and privacy. This is the heart of why you'd pick either service, so let's break it down. First of all, I'll take a look at their encryption, but before I go deeper, let's quickly clarify what all this encryption jargon actually means because it's way too easy to get lost in the buzzwords. When a cloud provider says it has end-to-end -end encryption, that usually means your files are encrypted while being uploaded, which is in transit, and also while sitting on the company's servers or at rest. So outsiders can't read your data, but, and this is important, the provider still holds the encryption keys. That means if they really wanted to, they could decrypt your files, say to comply with a court order, or if their system got compromised. It's safe, but you're trusting them with the keys. Zero-knowledge encryption takes it a step further. It means only you hold the key to decrypt your files. The company literally has zero knowledge of what you're storing, even if their servers were hacked or subpoenaed. Since they don't have the key, your data would be unreadable gibberish. Imagine renting a locker at a storage facility, but you bring your own lock, one they don't have a spare key for. That's zero-knowledge encryption. The provider stores your locker, but only you can open it. Both pCloud and iStrive promise end-to-end -end security, but with one key difference, encryption. pCloud encrypts files in transit and at rest by default, but its zero-knowledge encryption is an add-on called crypto that you have to pay extra for. iStrive, by contrast, baked zero-knowledge encryption into every paid tier through its dedicated encrypted folder. Files stored inside that folder are encrypted on your device before they reach iStrive's servers, and only you can decrypt them. Files outside that folder are still encrypted at rest, but not zero knowledge. So while both protect your files, iStrive's approach makes private storage more accessible right out of the box. No paid upgrade required. pCloud has data centers in the US and Luxembourg, and the great thing is that you actually get to choose your default region during signup. That means users can pick the Luxembourg servers if they're worried about US privacy laws. IceDrive, on the other hand, doesn't give you the option to pick your servers, but IceDrive's servers are actually in the UK and Germany. This means that both IceDrive and pCloud enforce GDPR laws. This means your data is protected by law with both options, but it's worth noting that pCloud offers the added choice of where to store it. Both services support two-factor authentication and secure file sharing with passwords, so neither falls short in this regard. So, with all that in mind, I'll give the point to IceDrive in the privacy round, thanks to its default zero-knowledge encryption. That said, pCloud is no slouch. It still encrypts everything in transit and at rest, and with crypto, it's just as secure. But IceDrive's model means you don't have to pay extra for that level of privacy. So now let's move on to some features, and let me tell you, this one is pretty close. Both pCloud and IceDrive can store your files and keep them in sync across devices. Under the hood, they both offer a virtual drive on your computer that lets you do things like drag and drop files there as if it were a local disk. For sharing and collaboration, both let you share files or folders by creating public links or inviting other users. On either platform, you can set links to expire or add a password for privacy. iStrive also allows people to leave comments right on the shared link page, which can be handy for feedback without having to send a separate email. pCloud, on the other hand, lets you brand your shared folders, so like adding a logo or custom background. Pretty nice to have if you're working with clients and want a more polished and professional look. For collaboration, both let others upload files into a folder if you send them a request link. pCloud has a slight advantage here, though. You can allow uploads up to 5 gigabytes per transfer, whereas iStrive limits uploads to 2 gigabytes on its file request links. 
I actually figured this out when I tried to receive a pretty big video file with iStrive and ended up having to break it up into smaller pieces before it could go through. Pretty frustrating experience, honestly. Both clouds can store and play photos, music, and videos, but pCloud shines in built-in media features. Every pCloud account has an integrated audio and video player. The audio player in particular is really good. You can create playlists, shuffle songs, and control playback speed or sleep timer for podcasts. pCloud's music player actually feels like it's on par with dedicated music apps, and it's even my go-to player for my music files. By contrast, IceDrive's interface has a simple audio player, but it's basic. Play, pause, next, that's it. pCloud is significantly better for handling media natively. On the backup and versioning side, pCloud also leads. Its famous rewind feature lets you roll your entire account back to a previous date, so you can retrieve a file that you didn't mean to delete. IceDrive, sadly, only keeps a limited history per file, about 10 versions up to 180 days on paid plans, and just 3 versions for 15 days on free accounts. So IceDrive can also recover a few recent changes, but not an entire folder if things go sideways. pCloud scores this round for sheer feature set and multimedia power. No shame to IceDrive, though. It keeps the pace in core storage and sharing, but here pCloud clearly has more to offer. How does it feel day to day? Both services score high on availability. They each have apps for Windows, macOS, Linux, Android, and iOS, so both cover all major platforms. Interface-wise, IceDrive feels a bit more modern and minimal. It's clean and easy to navigate. pCloud's interface is user-friendly too, but it's richer. Menus for backups, rewind, the crypto folder, music, and so on. For a new user, pCloud might seem like there's more clicking around. I personally got the hang of both quickly, but I'd say new users might prefer IceDrive's simplicity. Performance-wise, neither slowed me down. In my test, I uploaded and downloaded the same 5GB file using both desktop apps on a stable 50 megabits per second connection with no throttling. IceDrive uploaded the file in 7 minutes and 10 seconds and downloaded it in 7 minutes and 26 seconds. pCloud, on the other hand, was about a minute slower for uploads and 30 seconds slower for downloads. I don't think that's a pretty significant difference, but IceDrive is faster. So, for ease of use, I'm giving this one to pCloud. Despite IceDrive's simpler UI and slightly faster transfers in my test, pCloud wins for day-to-day -day utility because its extra tools save time later. It's easy enough for beginners, but still packed with useful tools once you dig in. Next, let's talk money. And boy, these two are both strong contenders. Both pCloud and IceDrive lure you in with generous free tiers. In fact, each service offers roughly 10 gigabytes free to new users. Now, pCloud technically starts you at 2 gigabytes and asks you to do a couple of quick tasks to reach 10 gigabytes, but the end result is the same as IceDrive's easy 10 gigabytes. From there, we have subscription plans. IceDrive's paid plans come in Pro 1 with 1 terabyte, Pro 3 with 3 terabytes, and Pro 5 with 5 terabytes. 5 terabytes for $59 per year, $119 per year, and $199 per year, respectively. pCloud's individual plans are 500 gigabytes for $50 per year, $49.99 per year and 2 terabytes for $99.99 per year. Now the lifetime plans are where it gets interesting. Remember that small difference that I mentioned earlier? Well, this is it. Both companies pioneered the pay once, store forever idea, but they handle it differently. pCloud still offers fixed lifetime tiers, 500 gigabytes for $199, 2 terabytes for $399, and 10 terabytes for $1,190. IceDrive takes a novel approach. Its base lifetime core plan is 2 terabytes for $389. But you can stack additional storage. But, for example, you can add 1 terabyte for $199 or 5 terabytes for $449. In effect, IceDrive's lifetime plan is modular. If you only need 2 or 3 terabytes, you pay significantly less upfront. If you eventually need more, you just purchase another stack. Both services offer tremendous value. If you plan to stick with a service for many years, a lifetime plan will save you a ton of money compared to perpetual monthly fees. iStrive's approach is great if you want to start small and only pay for what you use. But if you do need a huge vault of files, pCloud's 10 terabytes for $1,190 is a steal. And both services can get even more affordable if you buy using the links in the description. You can get a small discount and help support the channel at no extra cost to you. So who wins pricing? I'd give the nod to IceDrive on cost simply because of that lower entry price and flexible stacking. 
By now, the picture should be clear. Both pCloud and iStrive deliver high-quality, secure cloud storage, but they cater to slightly different needs. If you want a platform with more features, stronger multimedia tools, and long-term flexibility, pCloud is the smarter choice. iStrive, on the other hand, wins for default privacy and affordability. Either way, you're getting a secure, reliable cloud storage provider that easily outperforms the big names like Google Drive or Dropbox in privacy and value. If you want to explore even more options and see how these two stack up against other top contenders, check out this video.